You know, addiction is a disease. It's not a personal failing or a weakness. At least that's what I try to tell my wife whenever another giant box of wrenches and a bag of screwdrivers shows up at the front door. Hey folks, West from Woody Name Woodworking coming to you once again from my shop here where I swear wood actually does get worked with, it just never seems to make its way into any of these videos. Today I've got an unboxing from Tecton. These aren't the first Tecton tools I've got, but certainly the most by weight and bulk in one go. Now about six or seven months ago, depending upon when you watch this video obviously, Tecton released this modular stacking mechanics tool set. And while up until today I've not really been able to speak to the quality of the product itself, I really like the idea. The modularity of it, the compactness of it, the portability of it, it seems ideal for any number of situations and especially somebody who's just starting out in say tech school or a DIYer who wants a high quality storage option for the tools or somebody who needs a lot of portability and customizability. And I think this system is really great for somebody in those positions. But I have to admit, what sold me on this isn't so much the portability of it, is that, okay, well, confession time. I have a real weakness for things that come in sets and it's even worse if that set of things has its own special container. So it's like the people at Tecton figured out exactly how to market to me without intending to. This is like the stackable drawer body part here. This is the actual drawer itself. I have to kind of lift it up a little bit to slide it. That could be the position I'm in too, actually. Now I know they also make like a plastic case for this part itself. Obviously I'm not really worried about that. And we can see it comes in foam. That doesn't come through very well, I'm sure, on the camera. I'll try to take a close-up picture of this. But there are little drawings here on each side to show you where each specific tool goes. So these are a combination of Made in the U.S. and Made in Taiwan tools. Made in the U.S. appears to be made by Wild for Tecton. We have our, well, our channel locks. Traditional slip joint pliers, a smaller set of those, and sort of these nut grip, nut bustery style pliers. fit in there quite nicely. Now let's take a look at our linesmen's and other pliers. So these, made in Taiwan, honestly these feel super, super reminiscent of Klein's. Gotta be honest, they really remind me of Klein's. Similar weight, similar ease of opening and closing. Have that feel that says I could be a hammer. Needle nose pliers. And I'll take some close up photos of these as well. Our end cutters. Really standard pair of end cutters. Got some of these bent nose pliers. 
tools that don't get used very often, but when you need them, by God, they're super handy. Springed little set of needle nose pliers. Again, feel good in the hand. I like the spring actually. And tiny little wire cutters, or diagonal cutters. Again, they feel nice. Also included are some vice grips. The sort of needle nose style. I can open them. Oh gosh, yeah. Loosen out a little bit. So I do like the little hole here that allow you to tighten this down with, say, learning a screwdriver through that or something. These feel very similar. These feel very similar to the Chinese made. These feel very similar to the Chinese made vice grips. Obviously, they're not really comparable to the Malco Eagle grips. But I'm sure these will serve their purpose quite well. So I seem to have lost my closing, but I'd love to hear if any of you have experience with Tecton pliers or share my love of sets and special cases. And of course, as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks.